Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me Tobias here. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm just gonna dive right into it and I have some bad news to start this vlog off with and I hate doing this, but okay. So it's been three days since I bought the fish in my last video and already one of my telescope eye goldfish died um, yesterday, it just died yesterday. So that was, yeah, so exact. it was exactly three days after I bought the fish that um one of them died and I don't know I don't know what to make of that on top of that it was the orange telescope eye goldfish that I had which was not the one that I expected to have any problems the one that I expected to have problems was the white one that I bought because as soon as I put it in my aquarium I noticed it was swimming a little sideways not completely sideways but a little sideways like that and he's still kind of swimming like that let me just show you guys so here we go guys this is the white telescope eye goldfish that I was talking about um, yeah, he's still doing fine. Um, he's, I guess they're both, they're all kind of like just resting right now, but like when he does swim, he is slightly sideways. Um, that back there is the goldfish that I got with the tank and the Pleco, he's back there. He's doing fine. Um, so yeah, guys, I really don't know what the problem was with the goldfish that did pass away. Um, I'm just not having good luck with these like fancy goldfish. And also there's a lot of complications that arise while breeding these kind of fish, so you never know if the fish is healthy when you get it from the fish store. So I am going to have to, you know, call up that fish store, see what they do about, like, refunds or whatever. Um, because that was crazy, like, just three days, and it died. Very unfortunate. So anyways, guys, um, what I'm going to do now is I want to go ahead and vacuum the gravel using this uh, gravel vac uh, that I think I showed you guys before. Um... Yeah, if you're into fish, like, you probably have one of these. Um, I've already used it once, but, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to show you guys on camera. And we'll probably do, like, a 50% water change or so. In case you have never used one of these, I'll show you how to use it right now. It pretty much acts as a siphon, so pretty much this end goes into the fish tank. The other end you have go down into a bucket. And this thing, the siphon, pretty much will pick up the gravel, suck up all the dirt... Um, it'll prevent the gravel from going through the hose with this strainer and the dirty water will all go into this bucket and yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so check it out. I got, um, I mean, probably a little less than half the water out, but almost half the water out. And um, this is the craziest part. Like, when you look at the aquarium, or I should say, if you look at an aquarium and it doesn't really look that dirty, and then you do this like gravel vacuum thing, or aquarium vacuum, whatever it's called, and then you look at the water that came out, like look how brown and yellow that water is. Isn't that crazy? That was like all stuff that was like just in the gravel that you couldn't really see. So I dumped out the old water and now I'm gonna prepare my bucket of new water. All right guys, so now what I did is um. I put my bucket of water up here just because um, I'm going to siphon it back into the tank so you got to have the water higher up than the tank. Um, I already put my water conditioner in this bucket. So now what I'm going to do is just wait 15 minutes so that the temperature of the water in the bucket can acclimate to the you know room temperature I guess. Kind of like how the aquarium is just so that there's not like a change in temperature when I put the new water in. And then yeah that should be it. All right, guys, so there we go. The water is like looking a bit cleaner. It's still not 100% clean because I only did like a 50% water change and like um, a tank of this size. This isn't a very big tank. 
So I'll probably do another, probably 50% water change maybe in a couple days. Just because the water will get dirty pretty quick in this tank. But um, yeah, let's take a look at our little happy fish. Hi, um, a couple days ago on the 22nd, I bought a couple fish from your store. Okay. And um, yesterday, one of them actually died. I was wondering if you have like some kind of warranty or something. We do. We have 72 hour guarantee on the fish. Okay. It's already been, it's already been over the 72 hours. Uh, the only thing I can do is probably go like 50% with you if the water's good. Okay, got it. Alright. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Alright guys, so you heard the uh, conversation I just had with the fish store, um, that's a little disappointing, like I know if you buy a fish from like Petco, there's a 30 day guarantee on their fish, if you buy a fit fish from PetSmart, there's a 2 week guarantee on their fish, um, this fish store I guess only has a 72 hour um, warranty on their fish, I feel like 72 hours is very short, but whatever, um, he says if my water is good, they'll do a 50% um, refund on the fish. The fish was only $10. To be completely honest, I don't feel like it's really worth it for me to make that trip. I don't know. Yeah. If it was all of my fish who died, yeah, I'd do it. But I mean, just for the one fish, I would get $5 back. Like, it's not worth like $5 to make the trip down there. But I mean, it, it is a pretty cool fish store. I will be going there in the future to get more fish. But I mean, like, I have been having bad luck with, like, fancy goldfish in general. Part of me feels like I should just stay away from fancy goldfish because I have, I have not had good luck with, like, keeping a fancy goldfish. Like, there's just too many problems that they can have. Um, I mean, I'll see how I feel in the future, but for right now, I might stay away from them. Alright guys, so we did the gravel vacuum in the fish tank. Um, in case you guys are interested, I'll see if I could find it online and I'll post a link to that gravel vac or a similar gravel vac in the description below in case you guys want to check one out for yourselves. Um, and I know the past couple of videos, I haven't been showing you guys the pool pond because the past couple of videos have all been all about that um, aquarium. But let's go check out the pool pond real quick because I kind of want to do a little, you know, a little maintenance on the pool pond. All right, guys, here we go, the pool pond. Um, we've been having, like, a lot of wind kind of on and off, so this cover has, like, definitely been coming in handy. Um, but what I want to do today is, if you guys remember my, um, my pond pump, which is right down here in this corner. Let me just show you guys. Oh, look. The uh, black moor goldfish is right down there as well. He always hangs out, like, right there. But pretty much what I want to do is inside this uh, pond pump, apart from the filter being over here inside that waterfall, um, there's actually a little filter in the front of this pond pump, and I just want to go in there and clear it, clean it out because I've never cleaned it out. So I just want to make sure, you know, it's not like... Um, clogged or anything. I mean the water seems to be passing through just fine but it's a good idea to check on it every once in a while and make sure that it's uh, cleaned out. Check it out guys, I know what you're thinking. This is pretty gross looking, and it is. That's why I'm cleaning it out right now. But whoa, that is crazy like how dirty this thing got. All right guys, so this bucket has water in it that's been treated with the water conditioner. So I'm just gonna squeeze out that sponge filter thing, or spongy filter thing inside that bucket and see if I could get it clean. Check out how dirty the water just got from that. That was crazy. All 
All right guys, so it's been a while since I've shown you guys me feeding my fish in the pool pond. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. I almost forgot to tell you guys this, but do, if you guys remember, I posted a video a while ago about these aquarium heaters that I put in my pool pond. If you guys haven't seen that video, pretty much what I did is I got two 500 watt um, aquarium heaters and I put them both in the pool pond, but I just disconnected them a couple nights ago. And the reason I disconnected them is because uh, we were doing some calculations on how much it would cost to run those two 500 watt um, heaters in the pool pond and pretty much what it came down to is that uh, the electricity uh, the water power bill here um, Los Angeles County comes every two months. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but that's how it is here and um, Apparently it was gonna cost me four hundred dollars every two months So pretty much two hundred dollars a month to run those two aquarium heaters in the pool pond and I disconnected them pretty much the problem with those aquarium heaters is that they never would actually heat the water up to the temperature set on the thermostat. So pretty much what was happening is that those aquarium heaters were on 24 seven. Usually in an aquarium or something, if you have a heater in there, once it reaches the desired temperature, it'll shut off. And once it drops below that temperature again, it'll turn on. So it's not really on like 24 um, seven. But yeah, running these two heaters in there, um, they were not big enough, I guess, to um, get the temperature up to whatever the thermostat was set at so that they were just on 24 7 and two 500 watt um, aquarium heaters cost that much money to run every two months four hundred dollars every two months so yeah I disconnected them I kind of figured if I ran into any issues like if I felt like it was getting too cold for the fish in the pool pond I do have that aquarium bin set down set up down in my room so if anything, if it gets too cold, I'll just take them out of there, put them in that bin, um, and take them back out once it's warm enough. All right, guys, so that's gonna be just about it for today. Just a little fish tank and pond maintenance. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are new here, my name is Tobias. If you've never seen any of my other videos before, I do all sorts of videos. I do fish videos, pool pond videos, um, terrarium videos, cover songs, vlogs, reviews. I do a lot of different stuff and I encourage you to go check out my channel and if you like what you see there hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on post notifications. If you guys like this video give me a like that really helps me out and I will talk to you guys later. Peace!